In a busy fabrication yard, a long rotating frame suddenly shifts off its supports, turning steady motion into a heavy, uncontrolled spin below. Always secure rotating fabrication frames with stable supports, guards, and barriers, and never leave them unrestrained in active work bays where shifting loads can move without warning. When one support shifts or settles, the rotating mass moves off-axis, allowing gravity to pull the frame downward. As rotation continues, stored rotational energy combines with gravity, causing the structure to slide, twist, and drop. Stabilized rotating frames guard the work zone and lock out motion before any work is performed near active fabrication equipment. At a roadside loading area, one final pull on a ratchet strap suddenly releases stored compression, sending a wall of foam blocks surging downward from a truck bed. Treat compressed, strapped loads as unstable energy systems and keep clear of release paths when tightening or loosening restraints, using distance and controlled positioning at all times. Strapped loads store energy through compression between materials and tension within the restraints. As the strap tightens, pressure builds inside the stack. If alignment shifts, stored energy releases toward the least resistant side. Gravity and mass then carry the load outward, allowing the top layers to surge over the edge. Use distance and controlled angles when securing loads, and never stand where compressed material can surge or fall. Deep inside a narrow underground tunnel, an open lift landing suddenly becomes unstable as a heavy elevator cage drops faster than expected below. Never allow people or equipment inside a lift landing zone while a cage is in motion. Control access, use barriers, and verify complete stops before entry. Elevator cages move vertically under powered control and gravity. When motion resumes unexpectedly, the cage accelerates downward until it reaches a mechanical stop. The sudden deceleration transfers energy into vibration, dust displacement, and structural movement. Any open landing directly below becomes part of the impact zone, aligned with the path of moving mass and released energy. Control lift access completely, clear the landing, confirm full stop, and never assume a cage is secure until motion is verified. At a crowded loading dock packed with pallets and people, a reversing truck slowly closes a narrow gap that no one planned to stand inside today. Always control reversing vehicles with spotters, defined lanes, and clear exclusion zones, and never allow workers to occupy blind spot travel paths at loading docks. Reversing trucks generate continuous pushing force while offering limited rear visibility. In confined dock spaces, continued movement steadily narrows gaps between fixed structures. Without spotters or physical barriers, closing distances can go unnoticed. As the truck continues reversing, force transfers into surrounding objects, compressing the space until movement stops or control is regained. Plan backing routes, assign spotters, and enforce clear exclusion zones before reverse movement begins. Inside a tight plant entry bay, a tanker suddenly vents dense vapor that rapidly fills the confined space around valves and walkways nearby. Treat tanker bays as ignition-sensitive zones and never allow personnel or ignition sources near active valves without isolation, depressurization, and verified vapor-free conditions. Pressurized gas expands rapidly when released, spreading into confined spaces and displacing air. Vapors flow outward along surfaces, filling low and enclosed areas. If ignition occurs, stored chemical energy converts instantly into heat and expansion, creating a rapid ignition front and pressure rise. Tight bays amplify this hazard by trapping and concentrating vapors. Isolate systems, control ignition sources, and verify vapor-free conditions before approaching tanker connections. High above a deep industrial shaft, a worker safely lifts railings on one narrow platform until footing shifts and the importance of using fall arrest systems becomes real. Never work near open shafts without secure anchorage and physical edge protection. Balance alone is never a reliable safety control. An exposed edge offers no resistance once balance is lost, allowing gravity to pull directly toward the opening. When footing slips, downward force acts immediately with no natural interruption. A lifeline provides the opposing force, transferring energy into the anchorage and stopping motion. Without that anchor point, nothing arrests the downward motion. Anchorage stops falls. 
install anchors, guard edges, and engineer fall protection before anyone works near open shafts. On a busy rail platform beneath live power lines, a long metal ladder suddenly swings upward into an energized electrical zone above. Keep conductive tools and equipment well outside energized areas and maintain required clearance distances around overhead electrical lines at all times. Metal ladders conduct electricity. When positioned near live lines, even brief clearance loss can allow electrical energy to travel through the ladder's length, releasing energy into surrounding air and materials. Overhead movement combined with unstable footing increases the chance of unintended clearance violations. Control conductive equipment, respect electrical clearances, and isolate energized zones before lifting or guiding tools upward. Inside a busy auto workshop, a bright yellow lift arm juts out from a hoist like a steel tripwire right in the middle of the walking lane. Never, ever leave vehicle lift arms extended in walkways. Retract arms fully, mark clearance zones, and keep travel paths free of fixed strike hazards. Lift arms are rigid steel structures designed to carry heavy loads, not absorb impact. When extended, they project into walking space, creating a fixed strike point. A person moving through the bay carries forward momentum, and when that motion meets an immovable object, the force transfers instantly at the point of contact. Smooth floors and visual clutter reduce reaction time, making stationary protrusions especially dangerous in active shops. If it sticks out, it must be controlled. Retract lift arms, define walkways, and eliminate strike hazards before anyone moves through the bay. High above an unfinished building edge, a suspended pallet full of cement bags suddenly shifts and swings toward the opening under uncontrolled momentum. Use rated rigging, tag lines, and exclusion zones to control suspended loads and prevent sudden swinging or impact hazards. Suspended loads hang from a single lifting point. If a sling fails, the center of gravity shifts instantly, converting vertical lift into rotational swing. Remaining tension accelerates the load sideways, transferring energy into surrounding structures as stability is lost. Control suspended loads from a distance and keep edges protected from swinging masses. In a tight dump zone, the truck's raised dump body suddenly shifts on its hydraulics, then drops with zero warning, shaking the entire load like a hammer strike. Never, ever stand beside or behind a raised dump body. Set a hard exclusion zone. Keep people out of the side drop and rear drop lanes and treat the load as unstable until the body is fully down, secured, and motionless. A raised dump body stores energy in the hydraulic system and has a high, unstable center of mass. If it shifts or drops, the impact creates a sharp impulse that jolts the load, breaking friction locks between rocks and converting height into speed under gravity. That sudden jolt can send a loose piece moving fast through the work zone. Hydraulics can move without warning, and one sudden drop can send material farther than you can react. Distance and exclusion zones are the only reliable controls. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.